Um, my name is Jess. I am the dead brother of Ave. Um, and hey guys, I'm Miguel Martinez. Uh, thanks for coming. I'm contract developer at Ave Companies. Uh, we have been involved in the development of uh, Go, and yeah, we are here for that. Yeah. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Go, um, a decentralized, multi-collateral, stable coin native to the Aave protocol. Um, we're going to be looking at an overview, how it works, and then Miguel's going to look, go into some live coding. Copy. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> Hash <laughs> Um, so yeah, firstly, to look at how why we built Go, um, we should touch on stablecoins. So stablecoins are so important to the DeFi ecosystem. Um, they offer a fast, efficient, and borderless way to transfer stable value uh, on the blockchain. So um, currently, despite the demand, there is still a lack of decentralized stablecoins. So this moves on to what is Go? So Go is a decentralized multi-collateral stablecoin transferred and native to the Aave protocol. It's very wordy, so um, what does this mean? Um, Go does not have a single point of control. So Go is uh, controlled by the Aave governance and the protocol community. Um, so Go leverages the existing Aave governance framework to provide transparency and verifiability. So it means that everything is on chain. You can see the changes that happen. So this can be with interest rates and facilitators and more. So the multi-collateral side of things, um, we normally, well, typically assets can be, sorry, <laughs> minting stable coins can uh, buy a single asset backed vaults. So uh, Go instead is backed by various types of supply collateral assets. So this creates flexibility for a user. So it means that a user can just mint based on their entire um, portfolio. Um, and Go is native to the Aave protocol. It, um, when building, it was clear that there was a lot of functionality in the existing system. So things like liquidations and supplying. So it kind of works very well, like just fitting natively as a new asset. Um, so how does Go work? Go is an ERC20 token designed to maintain a stable rate pegged to the US dollar. So this is, you can still supply collateral, you can borrow Go and then repay Go debt. So yeah, as you can see from the diagram, this is what happens in the protocol. So, um, some of the stability mechanisms that happen with Go, uh, the the Aave protocol will always value the one Go at the equivalent value of one USD. So, sorry, is this is this better? <laughs> um, and then flash minting. This is this provides the same functionality as the current flash loan mechanism in the Arbo protocol and uh, is very important as it helps to uh, facilitate arbitrage, which is a very important stability mechanism. Um, so Go also introduces the concept of facilitators. Um, so a facilitator is a protocol or an entity that can trust us the mint and burn Go tokens. Um, Arbo governance and the community must approve facilitators so this is linked to the de decentralization, as I mentioned before. Um, and they set the limits, for example, the upper limit of Go that can be minted. Um, and it has been proposed to the Aave community that when Go is launched on the Ethereum mainnet, that uh, the Aave v3 Ethereum pool and a flash mint facilitator will be the first facilitators of Go. And then... Yeah, so regarding integrations, so the question is how do you integrate or how do you interact with uh, the other protocol and go? Well, there is a plenty of things, uh, a plenty of ways, sorry, to interact with that. Uh, if you are a smart contract developer, you can make use of all the NPM packets available. Uh, there are both, there are two or three for the other protocol. Um, itself, but there is also one for Go. You can install it in your repository. It doesn't matter if you are using a uh, or Foundry. 
uh, you can install it and you will uh, get benefit of all the contracts there. In case you are uh, uh, building a front end, you can use all the NPM packets available as well. There is a JavaScript SDK that that it, yeah that is very useful and it comes with very handy functions to interact with the uh, pro protocol also with uh, with Go. You can submit transactions, also fetch, uh, make use of functions to fetch data, and it's also very useful when you need to uh, transfer, transform or uh, manage uh, units of the of the assets. And in case of the data analytics, um, you wanna fetch all the data, uh, not only live data, but you are also interested on historical data. You can use. Uh, subgraph there is one for Ave and also one for go so yeah there is uh, also very useful so here we have uh, some simple examples of how you can use the JavaScript SDK to interact with go and also with the Ave protocol so as just mentioned uh, the Ave protocol works as a facilitator within the uh, go token which means that the other facilitator will be able to mint Go. And in order to do that, users need to provide some collateral to the, to, the, to the protocol. And after that, they will be able to mint, war, uh, mint Go from there. So they will effectively borrowing Go against their collateral. So the first thing that they need to do is first supply some collateral to his position. So their position, sorry. So in this case, we are uh, making use of the, the deposit function of the JavaScript SDK. Uh, we need to pass all the parameters needed, like for example, the address of the user, the address of the reserve that we wanna uh, deposit into the protocol. In this case, we can say that we are supplying uh, DAI. Uh, also the amount and also the on behalf of. The on behalf of is a particular, let's say a special uh, variable that allow that allow us to set the 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 user that is gonna uh, be benefit from the from the action. So in case you are interacting in your own behalf, you need to pass there your own address. So once we uh, once we deposit some assets, uh, we can just borrow some go. And in a similar way, we just need to pass the appropriate parameters there, like the address of the user, the on behalf of, also the address of the Go reserve. And it's important to note as well that the interest rate mode, interest rate mode should be variable. Also, the interest rate of Go is going to be fixed and controlled by the other governance. Uh, Implementation-wise, the Go reserve is using a variable dev token, so we need to set there the uh, variable red mode. And yeah, in case you need to uh, repay some of the debt, you always can uh, call the repay function that allows you to uh, increase your health factor by repaying some of uh, paying back some of your some of your debt. In a similar way, you just need to pass the appropriate parameters there and it will work. So this uh, is very useful if you need to integrate um, Go and you are building your uh, front end for that. But in case you uh, wanna make it work from the contract side, uh, you also you will need to write uh, Solidity or Hypercode. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna uh, try to do a little live demonstration of how you can build a little uh, code to interact with the other protocol and go. So yeah, let's try it out. Can we switch? Nice. I take it. Thank you. Hey, hey. Okay. So um, yeah, I created this uh, repository, which is called uh, Go Stable King Workshop. I will post the, the link in the Discord channel so you guys can uh, have access to it. In this workshop, uh, we are going through all the steps to um, learn how to uh, write a smart contract, as a Solidity smart contract to interact with the uh, Go stablecoin and also the Aave protocol. So 
uh, we are gonna use a, a foundry project. So if we run this first command, we will scaffold the, the project where um, we are gonna set up all the um, configuration needed. And also uh, we will have also the, the project directories there. What I'm going to do here is just to, uh, I'm going to create a test file. Um, I'm going to create a, a test per use case. We are going through two use cases here. The first one is going to be uh, minting Go based on the uh, collateral th that the user deposited in the AVE protocol. And the second one will be becoming a facilitator so you can mint Go to a friend or someone else. <laughs> so. And um, yeah, I took the liberty to uh, set up the project already so we can save uh, a little bit of time. So if you'll follow the steps uh, here that are explaining the getting started, you will get reached to a point where you will have this uh, solidity contract uh, with two functions. Sorry. Yeah. So as I said, it, there's going to be two test uh, cases one for becoming a facilitator and another one for minting go so before the test cases um i made some configurations and some initializations uh, here in the contract first i initialized uh, some contracts that we will need and um, the die token the go token and also the pool contract for those that don't know the pool contract is the main point of interaction in the AVE protocol. Um, so yeah, this contract contains all the core logic and user-facing functions. So if you need to perform some uh, any kind of action in the protocol, you will need to directly call to this uh, to this to this contract. I also uh, initialized uh, an EOA, EOA account. Uh, I call it We, right? <laughs> And I also top up that account with some uh, die. I'm doing that here. We will run this uh, test in a fork network. So we are going to use the deployment of Go in the Gorli network. So we are here specifying that we are using that network and also specifying the block height. And there is one only last thing that we are going to do before the test. We are getting uh, taking the control of the Go token. So more on this later, but uh, this will allow us to allow us to uh, perform some uh, special entities that are usually controlled by the AVE governments. So yeah, first we are gonna mint some Go. So as I said before, the user needs to provide some collateral in order to mint Go. And, and effectively effectively borrowing go from from the AVE pool. So what we need to do here is uh, call the supply function of the pool. I'm gonna check the the function in the pool interface. So we can see what are the parameters that are needed to to be passed. So we need to pass the asset, the amount, the on behalf of, and the referral code. Let's do that. So pool dot supply. We are supplying die, right? Let's supply 100 tokens with uh, 18 decimals. And yeah, the on behalf of, we are acting on our own behalf. And the referral code will be zero. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, before supplying, we always need to approve uh, the transaction, so approve the funds. So the AVE pool is able to pull funds from our account, right? So let's do that as well. Die dot approve approve. And uh, we are approving the address of the pool. And we are approving 100 die tokens. Nice. And now it's time to mint some go. Yeah, let's go. So we will borrow from the pool. Let's find that function. So we need to provide the asset, the amount, and the interest rate mode. The asset is gonna be go the amount let's borrow or mint tango tokens the interest rate mode is going to be variable so two in this case the referral code zero and we are acting on our own behalf again and at this point we will have 
we will hold 10 Go tokens and yeah, we can just send these Go tokens to our friend. So the address of our friend can be this one, for example. Um, since Go is just a regular ESC20, we can make use of the regular uh, functions of ESC20 tokens that we all uh, know. So let's transfer, let's transfer one to our friend. Yes, uh, then <laughs> Go tokens. Nice. Let's try it out. So we are going to run this test. Boom, it's working. It passed. <laughs> yeah, nice. So uh, yeah, let's do the other one. So this is just a way to highlight how easy it is to interact with the, with the token and the other protocol is as, as easy as uh, checking the uh, contracts, the functions, the parameters that needs to be passed. And there is plenty of documentation in there in the contracts as well, and also in the uh, developer docs. So yeah, it's just a matter to uh, carefully, carefully review the parameters and how you are interacting. The second use case is a little bit uh, different. Uh, in this case, we are not maybe interacting as a user, we are more like uh, some kind of uh, entity. So we are becoming a facilitator and we are going to mint uh, Go. As I said before, uh, we took control of the Go token to add a new facilitator into the system, but uh, it's usually the Abe DAO in charge of these kind of actions. So the Abe governance is going to decide uh, in the future who is going to become a facilitator. The first facilitators are the AVE uh, protocol and also uh, there is going to be a flash minter module. But yeah, uh, I'm sure that more facilitators will arise in the near future and there is actually some discussions in the governance forum around that. So we are becoming a facilitator ourselves. So let's call the facilitator function here. Oops. Yeah. So we need to pass here the address of the facilitator, so the address that is going to be allowed to uh, mint Go. And here we need to pass the facilitator struct config facilitator. Here we need to pass the bucket capacity, which is the credit line that this, that this facilita facilitator will have. Let's say that we want to be able to mint uh, 1 million gold tokens. Why not? The bucket level at the moment is going to be zero. The level represents the amount of gold tokens that have been uh, minted already. And we need to provide also a label. Is Tokyo. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so at this point, we are already a facilitator in the system and we will, we will be able to mint uh, go to our a friend again. So our friend can be this one. So go.mint friend and uh, I don't mind. It can be 10 go tokens or whatever. Let's try it out. It's working. Nice. So as you can see, it's very easy to start out with, with just a simple uh, foundry scaffold and some uh, uh, setups, some uh, initializations in the in the um, uh, project and so on. So uh, hopefully you guys can uh, find this helpful so you can uh, quickly create your own um, applications, tool, dashboards, and projects in general for the hack, this hackathon are also in the, in the, in the future. So mm. that's uh, pretty much all guys. And we are looking forward to see how you, uh, what you guys are building during this hackathon, 
what it has you come up with. And we are around, and there is a booth for AVE and Lens. And feel free to uh, come to talk with us to see what is going on on the AVE protocol, the AVE companies, or just to chat about the recent uh, news of the crypto ecosystem. Thanks for coming. We also have um, every like a lot of ideas on the ETH Global page, um, so have a look at there. We're really interested in payments and account abstraction um but yeah thank you very much for coming and yeah please come and get some swag and yeah let's go <laughs>